What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just Roll With It. My name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM. My name is Bizly, not to be confused with Bizly Pequeño over there, and I uh, play Chip. Hey, my name is Conda Fiction, and I play Jay Farron. <laughs> anyway, that was ominous. My name is Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gillian Tide Strider. The sword is nice not as menacing knowing that Condi has a lightsaber out right now. What? Uh, one second, guys. On the video. One second. Look at the DM. Look at him. He can never take one away second, our loved everybody. ones. Hey, DM. F*** you for last episode. <laughs> f*** you for last hey, episode. Hey, what the f buddy? Oh, sorry. We shouldn't, guys. We shouldn't swear in the opening minute of a YouTube video. Oh, you're so right. Hey, DM. Frick you. Yeah, for that frick last you, episode. guy. So, like... What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's going to be unexplainable to people listening to the show, but it's so That's going to be good. completely unexplainable, but it's going to get... Audio listeners, Bisley Pequeño has brought a gun to the studio. <laughs> Do audio listeners even know what Bisley Pequeño is? They should, and if they don't, they can Google it. On this episode, the battle rages on as our crew begins the plan to ram through the Navy fleet along with their fellow pirates. Even though the situation is dire, and some friends are still missing, I know the three of you. We'll just roll with it. <laughs> Where we last left off, the three of you, Chip, Jay and Gillian found yourselves overwhelmed by the forces of an unexpected Navy raid. Alarmed, you had a brief conversation and split to follow your respective plans. Jay went alongside Marshal John to help escort the sick and injured to the ships through the chaos. Gillian went to the Coliseum and acquired the device the Baron used to announce during the tournaments. And Chip returned to the ship to find Ollie. With Ollie not being seen or responding, Chip and old man Earl rushed back onto the island to find him, bumping into Jay along the way. Both of you heard Gillian's voice booming above the island, instructing all pirates and those who wanted to stay free to get to their ships and prepare to ram the fleet blocking the port. Eventually, with still no sign of Ollie, Jay and Chip made their way back to the Albatross, as Gillian dove into the ocean via slip and slide to try and disable cannons on one of the Navy ships. After successfully freezing over one of these cannons, Gillian, you were met with a tall figure in a red trench coat ordained with a golden design, navy medallions, and a very similar eagle pin you've seen before on a good front. As the push to ram the chips began, with no sign of Old Man or, or, or Ollie, Gillian was blasted off the ship by a blur of an attack from that tall figure, leaving Pretzel alone. Oh! <laughs> and so, the journey continues. Don't go homeless, Charlie. We oh. are going to start back at the top of the round here. So, Chip, you are hanging off the, uh, basically like the ropes on the ship in between your ship and uh, the Granberry Pirate ship. Yes. And Jay, you were at the helm of the mm. Albatross, steering the ship, getting ready to start the ram. And Gillian! You have just been knocked back into yep. the waves as they yep. wrap around you like a snuggie and you're sinking into the, into the waters. It is your turn. What do you do? Oh, uh, good thing I have this nice snuggie. I haven't heard that word in fucking five years. <laughs> um, okay, I still have gust of wind Very active. Very wet, snuggie. Um, sluggy, snuggie. I got snuggie, a, and it's family <laughs> guy themed. It's got Stewie Griffin. I've got a squelchy oh, nice. snuggie around me with Stewie Griffin. I'm going to... Um, uh, I have Gust of Wind still active. Would you let me try and use it to... Um... You can change the direction, I believe, as a bonus action. Okay. If, that's, if you're that's, trying to like use it to... That's pretty perfect. Um, so you can change the yes, direction yes, I can. Okay. as a bonus action. Yeah. Um, as a bonus action, then I want to change the direction so it's uh, below me, and I want to try and swim back towards the ship using the Gust of Wind, and I want to just try and get back on if I can however far I can make it. Okay, so the 60 feet long, uh, strong wind begins to uh, move behind you, or at least uh, uh, blast from Bubble. behind you like Bubble. a fucking torpedo. Uh, and using that propeller of wind, it shoots you above the water uh, and you can swim. I'll say you can get 45 feet back. You can make it uh, to the ship where you're gonna have to basically start climbing back up. Um, okay. Um, roll, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. 
Oh, oh no, that's right. So see okay, if you can get up there and in one go. All right, yeah. let's see how well we do here. Uh, blah, 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 17. Not bad. All right, I can say you can get back to the top of the ship where you got knocked off. Okay, uh, what's the situation? Is Pretzel, is Pretzel still there? Hanging. <laughs> Both <laughs> suction cups, all of oh, her tentacles oh, are wrapped car. around one of the little uh, oh. uh, dial or little knobs on the wheel. Oh, thank <laughs> God, Pretzel! Um, I want to use my, uh, would you let me use my object interaction to uh, snag Pretzel and then take the dash action to dive off the ship with her? Uh, you can snag Pretzel. I don't think climbing is an action. It's moving, I, I, I wanted to usually. use my movement to get back up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, sh I still have, and I use my bonus action for the gust of wind, so I should still have an action, an object interaction. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cool. I'll say uh, you can snag pretzel and jump off. Yes, with okay, dash yeah. action. I pop but her that'll off. be your turn. Uh, 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 just fucking, yeah, salute the guy. <laughs> give give <laughs> pretzel a kiss uh, and, and dive off, pinching my nose off the ship. Um, whew, thank God, okay. Oh, I'm not well, going to get evicted. one safe. Woo. <laughs> all right, all right, that's, that's my turn. turn. That's my turn. That's my turn. Jay, you're up next. You're on the same okay. turn order as uh, Jay is gonna leave the helm, and, and you know what? I am gonna go look mm -hmm. for Ollie. Uh, Thank for you. Him. Oh shit! Yeah, Let's go. You know, okay. Thank you I'm gonna for go being look under a reasonable the deck. person. All right, yeah, roll an investigation now, okay. check. Um, investigation. you're good at this. You're good at this. You're good at this. I have a. This plus song four. is fucking banger. Seventeen. Mm. Woo! Seventeen. That's okay. You see, in the barrel where Gillian sleeps. <laughs> Two He's eyes. In my barrel. Peeking out of it. Yes! Trying to hide. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Ollie, is that you? Yes! I I'm okay. Listen, Chip has been worried sick, and we left old man Earl on shore because he brought him off the ship to go find you, and now he's. Oh god! Things are. very wrong. Uh, just tries to close the lid a little bit. Okay, well you keep hiding there. I run up. I run up to the to top deck. Hey, Chip. This is actually kind of. Fun. Oh, what's up? Okay, you really need to get like your entire your entire shit straight. <laughs> you can't be having fun right now. <laughs> well, it's not my turn. I can't actually leave. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Little meta, but I understand. I also am in suspended animation between the ship and the water, continuously diving. <laughs> I stop it until me. you stop talking. <laughs> anyway, Chip, your son is okay. He's hiding in Gil's barrel. What? Yeah, you just didn't look hard enough. Just like we say in the undersea, like finding children in a barrel. <laughs> What? <laughs> that's kind of on the nose, that's man. A little, that's a little weird. Well, all right, then what else do we have to do? Earl! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna end my turn. <laughs> I really just that. had to get like one more in my investigation check to, to find that's him. That's hilarious, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like a contested I roll. No, no, I saw him roll. No, I saw it's him roll. Yeah. It's a contested roll. He was rolling stealth. Oh, that this, little this, fucking this rat. Little that shit. little rat. That little goddamn <laughs> this shit. little rat. <laughs> what a <laughs> bastard. <laughs> what an absolute stinker. He takes he learned from, you. Oh he learned God. from the fucking best. <laughs> like huh? father, like son, I guess. <laughs> um, chip off the old block, huh? All right, Chip, you are actually up next here. Okay, I'd like to stop hanging here. I've, I've done enough hanging. I want to, um, I want to look for adversaries, enemies, uh, maybe a possible leader of this, of, the, of this, uh, of this, uh, whole thing. Maybe a navy, one, naval one captain. For you. I got one for you. Closest <laughs> one to me, perhaps. I won't um, say, uh, just perception check. Okay. Um, if it would help me, I might try and, uh, get off of this rope, jump over to the Granberry pirate ship. Uh, and go find a find a vantage point to look from if that would help me at all. I'll Pro's say with nice. your previous acrobatics uh, and uh, movement of thirty, you can get halfway up the crow's nest. Okay, that's that's that, far that enough. Maybe uh, maybe I'm just hanging off of a of a thing. Um, I'll make a perception. Uh, thirteen. Okay, they are only uh, the ships are only about 50 or 60 feet away. Uh, now getting, uh, the, after the ships are about to start moving, uh, you can feel them probably after your turn, uh, top of the round. Uh, but you can see uh, directly across from this ship is that 
tall, the only figure in a red, uh, a solid red coat with a very, uh, it's, God, it's a presence. I don't know what the, I don't know what the word is. A very, strong presence. Yeah. It's a, it's I, I, know a, what, I know what you're describing. Like a commanding. Yeah, commanding. Aura, yeah. A commanding, a, a, yeah, commanding, a, a, aura, com yeah. A commanding yeah. aura. No, it's a word. Authority. <laughs> yeah. That's the word. Yeah. yeah. I would like to prepare my action oh. to use to use my uh, my love oh. potion as soon as I get into range of him. I can't imagine it's that big of a range. But... Yeah, what's, it the, what's the range on the love potion? It's like um, a spray bottle. Is it like, 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 it's a, it's a, a super feet. soaker. You can hit him from there. Like, <laughs> melee is five feet. feet. I would say this is about ten feet. Ten Maybe feet? ten feet. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, you gotta, I, you I gotta be kind of right up on him. Yeah. I pretty much want to just save this action for when I uh, can move up towards him. You would basically just be doing this on your next turn. <laughs> As these ships begin to move forward, uh, yours as well, continuing the straight line. However, your your ship, uh, big, but not as big as uh, a few of the pirate ships to your left and right. But, however, that pretzel spear at the top, uh, the, the front of your ship, <laughs> is, is more than enough to be capable of this ram. You do hear... <laughs> as cannons from uh, both sides, but more specifically, the Navy fleet, fleet uh, the ship to the left of the one in front of you that you're about to start ramming, um, those shoot, but the one that Gillian froze over does not. Cool. And then the, they're on your side, cannons fire as well. well and you helpful. also hear Captain Lizzie uh, yell as loud as she can, just, forward! Only one of them hits your ship okay. with an AC of 14. Uh, Oh, that's the wrong dice. Yeah, I got our ship. This is exciting. We've got, uh, we, we found, I want to credit it. I want to credit it. Um, Go ahead. We found naval combat rules, uh, or I did on r slash unearthed arcana, uh, posted by um, uh, Limit, is it, yeah, Limit Hron or Limit Thron. Um, so uh, if you want to check out his guide to naval combat, it's over there on the, uh, on the subreddit. And uh, we're using it right now. Okay, very, very cool. so... Uh, your ship starts with 52 hit points. You can mark off uh, whoever wants to keep track of it. Oh, I can keep track of it track. if you want. I can keep uh, track, I guess. Oh, yeah, it'll be helpful if we have a player doing it. Yeah, so we can yeah. tell. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so you start with 52 hit points. You're going to subtract eight hit points as one of the cannonballs goes flying into the side, the very Ooh. front left side of your ship. You can hear the wood go, <laughs> and your ship rocks to the to the right a little bit. Jay, uh, uh, I won't say you have to make a dexterity save for this. Um, okay. Since it's just one. Okay. Okay. But you do get rocked a little bit, stumble kind of a bit. You don't get knocked over, but you do feel it. Uh, and uh, it should, you feel the pain impact you physically as your ship gets hit by a, a, a cannon. No. On their side, a few of the cannons oh, connect. The you, can, you can see uh, uh, wood oh, and smoke. Uh, as some cannons hit, uh, the one that is on fire with the mast being broken by one of the spells casted on the Grand Barrier Pirates, it is hit as well. It's starting to uh, slow down as the ships who are, who are blockading are, are kind of drifting uh, forward. At this point, that one is staying uh, in motion. Or, it, sorry, it's in, like still, it's staying still. Uh, and with that, you... <laughs> Next up, Killian. All right, um... Uh, I'm just in the water right now, uh, off the off the ship. Um, I, so uh, the Al how far is the albatross from where I am right now? The albatross, you just jumped off the ship. I just jumped you're off about the yeah. Fifty, you're just about fifty feet away. Okay, could I get there with the gust of wind and my movement? Fifteen. I would say the gust of wind gives you fifteen extra feet. So that'll and give you've me got thirty feet of swing. Forty-five. 45 feet. Five. <laughs> Fuck. Five off. <laughs> um, um. Okay. Uh. That that could work, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take the dash action to get on board then, uh, and right. uh, and I'll do it and I'll do it in a cool way. You know, maybe I free I'll, I'll freeze the water beneath me and then jump up. Um, can I, as a bonus action, or just at, at the end of my turn, make a perception check and see if I can see Earl in any of this? Go okay. ahead, uh, go uh, ahead and make yeah. a perception check. I'm gonna use Pretzel's perception. Okay. As I hold her up, uh, partially because I'm just happy she's back, and partially to help. Oh, Pretzel, I love you. Such a good frog to push <laughs> Um, holy shit, Chad. Uh, 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 twenty-one. Ooh. Okay. Make an athletic check. What? Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know either. Fourteen. 
you run to the back of the ship and you start peering over with Pretzel holding her up, and then you see <laughs> spiraling like a football, old man Oro flying through the air. <laughs> oh, this is a lot easier than what I was gonna do. I Wait, literally... so where, where is he like in the crowd just being <laughs> tossed? Oh, did he fire himself out of a cannon on the shore or something? <laughs> and with your athletic check, you're able to catch him unless you choose otherwise. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, how, oh, how, the, how, the, how the fresh hell did you end up here? How did you just <laughs> fire you? <laughs> What that the big fuck? fucking idiot! And then you look past him and you see uh, in this like still like football throw quarterback position, the John! rippling uh, arms, John. the mutton chops, and the big pearly wide smile as it gets dogpiled by <gasps> Navy soldiers. John, oh, no, no, we lost you. Oh shit! Um, uh, with, with that additional perception check, do I see if he managed to get the sick people onto the onto their boat? Uh, or was if you you all of oh, Chip especially can tell that uh, there there are are. People who are, are are basically like still being walking in uh, uh, and trying to get on and into the ship okay. for the the Granberry Pirates, but it doesn't look like there's any more coming from uh, the coast okay. of the rest of the district. Okay, or like All the right. border of that area. Talk oh, about what I was gonna okay. do. <laughs> you can, because I I was literally gonna do a, a, a sailing maneuver called club hauling, where you drop the anchor to do a sharp turn and pull a 180 and go back for him. <laughs> you would have just sailed right into the dogs. <laughs> <Good>. That's hilarious. <laughs> and then your ship would have been uh, landed. Anyway, anyway, I, I reach perfect. out. I reach out. Well, I have I have Earl in one hand. I reach out the other hand. John. No. <laughs> Single oh, tear just falls down my cheek. Uh, I'm gonna end my turn. Uh, yeah. Um, I fire an arrow off in solidarity <laughs> towards just... the pile of navy soldiers on John. <laughs> okay. Sing a single <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, goes yeah, down. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Roll to hit. This is this is Jay's way. Do you way. also scream, John? <laughs> John! <laughs> 24! Can you set it on fire as well so he gets a fucking funeral? <laughs> that hits. That hits. Yeah. Yeah. It's max damage. 11. Nice. One last act of rebellion. Nice. Against this cruel fate that's taking John away from us. How oh, much damage? Just got 11 back. damage. Okay. Got it. Yeah, you, uh, you, you nail one of the the soldiers and he goes fucking limp, but there's still a whole whole group of them trying to restrain this gorilla of a man. Next up, Chip. If, th if that's your new return, if you have a move or bonus oh, action, I, you, you know I could attack again, but I don't, I'm not really in the business oh. of killing Navy. <laughs> gotcha. Even though it did, you know, it's a soul for a soul at this point. Unbelievable. <laughs> How hard would it be to get around to uh, to this big authoritative man? What's your swim speed? I wouldn't want to swim per se. If anything, if I could, if I could do a little, a little rope cutting and swing over there, that would be impossible. Okay, so now we know that. <laughs> we know that now. Um, They're like fifty uh, feet away. Uh, you, you, so, got, so, you got it. By the as way, soon as the ship's ram, then you're in range <laughs> to board. Um, uh, uh, everyone has if you your your swim speed and climb speed are half of your regular speed, unless you have like one innately. Um, okay. Yeah. There were people coming onto onto the ship, correct? Are they navy or are they? The people coming onto this ship are the sick and the injured from Rudy's respite. Okay, then I'll probably jump down and, and uh, start helping get people on. Uh, and you said it looks like those ships are gonna are the navy ships are gonna ram. They're gonna get closer. Or we're gonna ram them. We're, we're gonna, gonna ram them. We're gonna ram okay, them. Okay, 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 we're ramming okay, them okay. and getting out of here. We're this dock speed. is ramming. And I, okay, as I'm as I'm helping people on. Uh, I want to shout out to to Lizzie. Hey, so do we have a plan after we ram these ships? I don't know. Just what do you mean you get don't know? And run. You want to run? Yeah, make yourself useful and fire one of the cannons. Uh, sure. I have never. They never let me fire Holy one of these shit. things. Uh, <laughs> We're firing uh, a cannon for the first time ever in our private campaign. <laughs> oh my god! Episode 40! This, <laughs> this is the first, wanna, let's right. go! I'm gonna fire the cannon. <laughs> yeah! yeah this let's is go uh, Alright, <laughs> this is this would be like a command. Um, go ahead and... So you're gonna roll a, a check here. So, roll a d20. Roll a d20. Four. 
I can do that. I'm gonna use my physical dice for this one. Oh my god, this is, big roll, big money, big money. This is for you, audio listeners. 19! Oh! Yes! Oh! You right, hit one of the ships! Four. <laughs> plus four is a 23, baby, I hit the ship. Dude, it felt really good to hear that roll, I'll be honest. <laughs> Go ahead and roll 1d10. 1d10. I'm just gonna use the online dice for that. I don't know oh. what 1d10 is. One I don't D10 know where roll. it is. Plus Ooh. two. All right. 10! Oh, so no, damage! Oh, oh, damage! Max damage! one of the ships! Oh, God, it's it so goes good. Kadoosh. It's so good, it's so good. And you hear it go, fire again! What? Wow, that was <laughs> awesome! What do you mean fire again? How do I... Don't how do I turn do back, just fire the fucking cannon! How do I do... Okay! Um... <laughs> anybody have... Uh, some extra balls lying around? My god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right next to the cannon, it's cool. <laughs> oh, I knew that! Uh, thanks! <laughs> Shove it in. Can I fire again? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um... Yeah, there's no there's no uh, more cannonballs, but there was a bowling alley in town and you have some leftover bowling <laughs> balls. Well, let's see if we get a strike. Okay, so that was a 10. Plus four. 14. 14? Is 14 hit? Come on, 14's 14 big. misses by one. Oh, okay. ah! Aww. 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 So that one goes wide. Oh, <laughs> come on. Second time firing the cannon on the campaign and you missed, dude? Second time? Dude, that's Bruh. unbelievable. First time was max damage. I don't want to hear this. You're going to talk first. We're up past it. We're that is true. Us. First time was max damage. Okay, Chip. At the end of your turn, because uh, I will be near the end of your turn, yeah. uh, you see a uh, torpedo out of the water similar to how... Uh, Gillian does uh, Caspian nice. soaked, but looks exactly the same as normal, almost soaked except always. just a little, always, just a little wetter. He oh, walks up and he, and, he, uh, and he nods to uh, the captain. He says, "All right, I, I think we're ready." And at that point, uh, the ships, all of them, start to move forward, uh, full sailed. Uh, the wind, luckily, on the sides, on your sides, in our favor. Pushing your ships directly uh, towards this navy fleet. I still have gust and of wind active. I I, I want to point it as well at the sail so we can go okay. even faster. Okay. Yes. Okay. You guys are going fast. You guys actually start to pull ahead of all of the ships oh. that you're sailing next to. Yes. And uh, at this point, that we're gonna like ram. A bad idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. How do we? Isn't ramming like a thing where? Oh so, God. What you guys are gonna do? One of you. Who's the captain? Who's on the ship right now? I guess I'm kind of at the helm, technically. Yeah, you're at the helm. Usually. Go, you, yeah, Jay be you. standing captain. Okay, so in, in this point, Jay is the appointed captain of the Albatross for the, for the time being. Uh, you're going Calm to roll one d. Change. You're going to roll one d eight. Okay. Which is your your uh, ship's hit die. I think. Wait, no, one d ten. Sorry. We want to get we want to oh, get higher, D10. right? Then. Yes. Yeah, and I'm okay. going. To I rolled roll. a d eight and it was. Six, so that could have been great, but all right, Condi, how'd you do on the 1d10, brother? Well, that was a five instead of a six. So I right. rolled a four. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys do critical damage on the ship you're ramming, uh, which I believe is going to be D8, I'll just right? say 1d8, 2d8, right? That makes 1D8 sense. 1d8 is to me. the damage. That's 13 damage. Ships. Plus, Woo! is that plus two still or plus three still? 16 plus three for you is to hit. Yeah, plus two though. So still for damage, plus two, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Plus two to the damage. Fifteen damage. Fifteen right. damage, baby. Hey, that's not just regular damage. That's, damage. Shi that's ship damage. That's ship damage. All right. That's, that's ship big. Damage that's big right money. There. Yeah, yeah. These ships have like adjusted HP. Like for example, your ship has uh, fifty-two HP uh, to other ships. But if you were going to attack your ship as a person, apparently it would be two hundred and sixty HP. Woo! Okay, so it that's basically the difference. be five times as much. Good, if you're good bit scales up, yeah. scales up. I think makes I did sense. that right. I only read this today because yeah, it was no, in that's, that's, no, that's I think correct. that makes a lot that's of sense. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't so, just hit a ship with a sword five times. So this ship and the ship next to you, as well as the Granberry pirate ship, all ram into uh, with you on the left, chip the ship that you're on, just a random. Uh, pirate ship and uh, the Granberry Pirates on the right. All three of these ships ram into this one ship, yes. and you can hear the the sounds of splintering. Just, just it's so loud. It's the sound of wood creaking and cracking and breaking uh, louder than uh, it's ever been around you before. 
as you look to your left and to your right and you see all of the ships now have crashed uh in between the naval ships trying to force their way through and at this point there are navy crew that are trying to board some of the other ships but not yours because yours uh in uh, basically finishing off this ship that was uh being attacked and targeted to be this hole uh as per uh, captain lizzie's words for you guys to get through and it begins to, uh, I don't want to say capsize, but the front of it begins to raise up as you guys ram into it. Uh, your ship's basically like going under it as if you're a crowbar. Uh, and it's raising up now. Definitely is, is uh, out of the way enough for you to keep sailing forward. Nice. Okay, cool. At the top of the uh, round now is Gillian. Uh, well, shit, we don't own any cannons to hit this thing with. I don't know. Is there, is there, is there anything around me I can help with? Um, I have a shot put ball. You have a shot? All right, yeah, pass that over. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to try and shot put uh, a ball at the Navy ship. So I, I spin around, I spin around a bunch and hold out my hand athletically and then shot put a, uh, a small steel ball <laughs> to, into a Navy ship. But we don't have cannons. Uh, what do I need to roll? Um, would, I think it's like a ranged attack with an improvised weapon. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I, none of those things are things that Gillian is good at. Let's just go ahead and just roll, roll. Dex, dexterities, range attacks, and minus two. All right, that's a four to hit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> falls in the water. <laughs> New record! Yo, what's up, my rollers? How's it going? It's me, Contafiction, coming at you for a mid-roll. Uh, in this one, we don't have a sponsor, so I'm gonna talk about it. You're never gonna, you're never gonna guess what it's gonna be, what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about the Just Roll With It Patreon. That's right, motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you all about the fact that we have a Patreon with a whole nother campaign. That's right, a whole second campaign with a whole amount of 18 episodes, each two and a half hours to two hours or so. Think about it, that's a lot of content, and the characters are great, and the players are great, and we currently have Yako CMN on as a guest who is great, and the campaign is great, and it's great. Give us $5 on Patreon so you can watch it. And hey, you know what? Just rolled with it. We talk about these episodes on Riptide. Uh, over at Patreon for $10, you can listen to Just Rolled With It, and I'm pretty sure that everything coming out of my mouth right now is complete gibberish, because I am so sleep-deprived right now. Um, but that's okay, because I'm sure my message is getting across loud and clear, and you're opening your wallet and going to patreon.com slash just roll with it to give us your money, uh, and, and your credit cards, and, and all, your entire wallet, honestly, just a little bit of everything. Uh, anyway, that's basically all I have to say to you for this mid-roll thing. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> okay. Hey, that was a good uh, toss. Didn't quite that hit. That is <laughs> gonna end my turn, I guess. Uh, is there anything around me that that is currently coming in to, to fight us, or is everyone like okay? Uh, what's the situation with you know the other ships? Or is Lizzie's ship getting boarded? At this moment, it looks like you guys. So you guys have just rammed uh, yeah. that ship. Okay. On this on this turn, there isn't anyone trying to uh, board just yet. On your left, which would be okay. the ship to your left or the right. right. Great. I'm going to use my bonus action to switch my gust of wind uh, onto that one admiral guy and try and knock him into the water like he knocked me because uh, <laughs> I, I don't like him. Um, okay, it's uh, range is like 60 feet. It's 60 foot range. Does that hit him uh, from like 60 feet away? Sure. Cool. Uh, he needs to make a strength saving throw. Yeah, I know. 14? 14 just fails. I, I, I was ready for him to succeed and describe it tussling his hair. Um, yeah, no, he uh, he gets knocked 15 feet back, and if, ideally I'd like to knock him into the fucking sea as well. <laughs> okay. Be so, a better influence on your daughter or 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 sister or uh, whatever Jay is. Wait, what are you talking about? Well. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell, Farin. Uh, Wait, you did you say this out loud? Yes. <laughs> so he yells it, uh, and then you switch your hand, uh, pointing at the mainsail of your own ship, over to the right, uh, and it blows past. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Sixty foot line, ten feet wide. Okay, I'll say that you won't. Uh, you'll probably choose not to hit anybody on. Yeah. On the. Yeah. So uh, it blows past the small ship. You feel this little gust of wind below, uh, beneath your feet, and you look over to your right, and you see this this uh, tall figure in a red coat get. <laughs> <laughs> flown back on his ship. Uh, <laughs> hey, who are you talking to, Gil? I say he breaks through the railing and uh, you're able Your to see mom. him like like one hand what? slipping on the uh, that was kind of on, 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 the, on the edge of the ship here. Okay. 
So, uh, next up. Maybe not your mom, but someone that's related to you. This is a cruel I joke. think. <laughs> you just gave me your mom joke. Oh, oh yeah, that. Yeah, that. <laughs> so, I mean, like. It's your no, turn, Jack. I just wasn't, wasn't um, a joke either. I genuinely can't tell. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to look over whoever the fuck. Do I see who Gil was yelling at? Do I, do I see it at all? No. Yes. Is he gone already? Blown into the... I'll say because he got blown off the ship. Just make a perception check. Okay. Because he's not in a clear line of sight anymore. No. Eight. No, unfortunately, you just see the hands uh, trying to clutch and slipping <laughs> on the uh, side of the ship. Wait, those bony hands. That's my... <laughs> 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 Sorry, did you say something? I blow gust of wind around her eyes so she can't see very well. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> her fucking face. Your eyes just dry out. Unfortunately, I, unfortunately, you don't see anything. Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess I just continue. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna save my action to do something with Chip, potentially. I don't know if that's happening this turn, though. Is oh, that okay? Cool. Can I? Do I have to be descriptive? Just <sighs> shoot whatever Chip hands me. <laughs> well, well, not exactly. That's, that's a hilarious trigger. That's such a funny trigger. Keep it that way. Yes. <laughs> yep. Anything whatever, you hand me. Whatever. Maybe, maybe not hands you per se. Oh, are you gonna fucking throw it at me? <laughs> no. Are you guys conspiring in the background? Yeah, yes! I mean, really, it's fine. I don't know what they're talking about either, dude. I think they're in the DMs. We well, never, up, guys, because I don't have all fucking no, day. No, 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 Cranny. I want to <laughs> not at you in the air. Oh, you want me to shoot it in the air? Okay, I'm gonna shoot whatever Bisley throws. <laughs> All right, Chip, you're up next. Okay, I'd like to look around for a bottle of alcohol. Something mighty, something strong, something that'll put some hair on even Jay's chest. This is a cool plan. <laughs> if not completely ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Investigation check. Okay. Uh, hey, Lizzie, you got anything to drink? Yeah, of course. And she's like, uh... <laughs> Uh, unclips this, uh, this, this, oh, that... uh, large, like, wine bottle, like, halfway full of some kind of sloshing liquid that was hanging on, uh, like, the in, like, the inside of her coat. Oh, I don't know why I was expecting something a little more sarcastic. All right. <laughs> Do you roll an, um, you rolled an eight? I rolled an eight, though. <laughs> so, like. Maybe it's just oh, fucking high C I mean, for you a asked... punch. Yeah, I, I asked, yeah. so, like, it wasn't really, I figured that was all right. Uh, I want to, um. I want to hey, just. Hey, I know. Nerves just. I was just full of Gatorade instead. Uh, Nerves kick in. I get it. Well, hurry up. I had another idea. I take a sip out of it real quick. I, how strong is this? Make this, a Constitution saving throw. So, okay, so that's so it's strong. Uh, eighteen. Hair grows from my chest. I become a Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like drinking flames. Go, go ahead. What do you want to do with it? All right, I want to. But you don't um, like get uh Impacted, or so you think. I wanna, I wanna like maybe rip a piece of my shirt off, um, stuff it in. Uh, I wanna, I wanna spark up a match maybe on the, on the deck of the, of the boat. Hey Jay, I have an idea. Like, what? Screaming out. I'm gonna throw something. I want you to shoot it. Okay. Not until it gets to the ship, though. <laughs> Which ship? <laughs> You'll see. And I want to light it, and I want to chuck it um, at the uh, at the closest uh, navy navy ship. My God. Maybe towards. You said like, towards the. Okay. Uh, uh, a range range attack is just is just dexterity. Unless you're proficient, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it is. So just roll dex d twenty plus your dexterity. Okay. This will be your whole turn. You have nothing else you can do. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that's a dirty, stinky 20. S fucking stanks, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. All right. Uh, you're able to throw it up wherever you wanted to throw it. I would say... Um, Probably towards the Since you guys are ramming a ship. If I can. like, or, Yeah, like like towards the, towards the center. To I wanted the, to light the sails. The, you would, yeah, you'd have, to, you'd have to throw it to the right. Uh, yeah. The, uh, the ship to the right that's holding the tall red cloaked figure. Okay. Pistol. <laughs> Let me just let me just scratch out his name here. Oh. <laughs> as, we, as, we, as we Molotov cocktail him. <laughs> oh, no. No, it's Marshall John. Oh. I'm not ready for him to be gone. He had so many dreams and aspirations. He did. Uh, these two are going to hold actions. Next up, Gillian. Wait, do I not show? Do I not shoot the? Uh... 
the bottle that he threw? Did I miss something? You said you wanted it to get to... Okay. That would sales, right? Yeah, I guess. When it gets... Yeah, it'll like shoot well, it like in you the can, air. You can, you can roll it ahead at the end here, yeah. Okay, you yeah, want to? at the end of all. I just don't know how long it would take for it to like air travel to wherever its destination is. I don't either, so just roll it ahead. Okay. It air travels. <laughs> you throw it. Beep, beep. It happens. 13. Not a great shot. Uh, it's oh, a bottle. Awesome. Yeah, true. <laughs> Bottle's AC is. is not 13, so go ahead. Awesome. It's a pistol. Uh, one damage. I feel like I should have done some kind of accuracy damage. check, but whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, fine. I think rolling the hit is accuracy anyways. You hit it! It explodes! Kaboom! Molotov! All right, how do you... What, what, is a, what, is a, what is a bomb? What is a bomb? <laughs> Don't know. Never seen one. Uh, roll 1d6. Busily. Okay. Your, it's your attack. Sure, 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 your sure, team sure, attack. Sure, 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 sure. Cool. And then, uh, for Six. fun, Jay, Jay, roll 1d4. <laughs> hey, yo, I'll roll a d4, yeah. Yo, yo, max out, max out, boys. Yeah, max oh, out, max out. Oh. Okay, so eight total points of uh, fire damage onto the sails of this ship that immediately begins to spread. Six. So, Fogging. the other two are holding their actions. Now it's back up to Gillian's turn. Okay, yeah, I, I move and your my ships, uh, at the end, At the end of your turn, your ships move past um, another uh, 50 or so feet. For you guys, it's going to be about 60 feet with the help of Gust of Wind. No, you moved it, so for just 50 feet. Um, uh, your, your, your back end of your ship is now in line with the backs of uh, their ships. You're, you're basically past them at this point if you okay. wanted to. Uh, yeah. I, I, um... Shit, I, I think I, uh, I'm just gonna move one hand to be blasting the gust of wind into the sail again with my bonus action. Um, and I just look back and see what happens to the rest of everyone. That's, that's kind of all I've got. I, I think we're pretty gotcha. much out of the woods here. Yeah, that's what I do. Jay, you're on the same turn here. Full sail head. <laughs> I don't sail know, head. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll take a pot shot at, at one of the wood planks on the ship and it'll be awesome <laughs> yeah I, I i use shape as my action i use shape water to make her a a ice uh shot put that she can shot put at the uh, at the name okay, one second let me try let's see try how to... far you can get let's see how far you can get yeah here it is here it is big big numbers big numbers come on i kind of like bob ba my head okay i step a few steps back i draw a line on the ship okay and i big splash, <laughs> big splash. nice um strength check uh 14 actually 14. Um, don't think that hits a ship from where we are at this point, but you know, I I feel like my my personal best has improved a lot. So, fourteen just misses the ship. Not the navy. It's uh, AC of fifteen. <laughs> That's for the them. same thing I rolled the shot, but we both fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Jay. It was, it was so awkward if I forgot and then said, "Yeah, it hits," and then you were like, "No, but mine didn't hit." <laughs> my shot. Well, that's my I, worst. That's yeah. my worst fear. <laughs> yeah, my really consequential shot put I did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, All right. So awesome turns <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, if that's the end of your turn, Chip. You watch as uh, Captain Lindsay runs to the front of the ship, and as she does, she brandishes her chain whip uh, from her hip, and it flurls out, sort of wrapping around her for a second, and then uh, snapping back, and then it uh, she shoots it towards the hand that's still gripping onto the side of the ship. Um, uh, she's like like basically running up and jumping and trying to slam it down into the hand to make that uh, the one who's hanging on, the tall red cloaked figure. Uh, but it misses, and as it does, you see another hand grab the edge and then with one with just one swoop just one uh one motion of movement uh this figure uh rises up and makes it back onto his ship and at that point you would see and hear the same red cr crackling or cackling energy start to except you would be able to see it this time move around the legs and then up the body and down the arm and as that happens this uh this this steel rod just sort of materializes uh, uh -oh. in the air, and he oh. winds it back. You're so lucky, dude. Um, Why? So, an A doesn't hit, but you see Ooh. that rod go right past Lizzie, and then right by your head, and then <laughs> it's stuck in the wood uh, behind, uh, just a part of the ship. And at that point, 
you would see uh, Caspian run over to the front of the ship uh, and uh, and basically right under Lizzie as she's still kind of midair there. And he would uh, raise the water uh, from below that figure who, who was... Uh, who was still at the edge of his ship now, and the water would crawl up and then wrap around his legs and then freeze. Cool. And their ship, which you are still on, would start to would continue to move past that same 50 feet. You're just about uh, 10 or 15 feet or so behind the albatross. And that, that middle ship that you were on before is uh, is making its way past, uh, it's behind this ship, but past the, the ship that you guys all collectively sunk. And that brings us back to the ships. Only one of them hits your ship. Haha, <laughs> that's two hits now. We're taking water on bottom deck. <laughs> I love water. <laughs> so that'll be six points of damage on Drink your up. ship's HP. Okay. And uh, down to 38. That's lower. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so the ships continue to move. Gillian, you're up. You guys are, are ju I'm assuming, are you doing anything else? Or are you just, are, if you guys are riding this out now and just getting away from these ships, um, I need to know. Yeah, I, I, I think that's, uh, is that the page everyone's on? That's the page I'm on. Because if that's the page everybody's on, we are, we are, yeah, I need to know. That's the page I'm on. What about you guys? I'm on that what, page. The page? The page? What is the pa oh, page? Page sail is sailing away is the page. Getting out. Swoop true, evade, goodbye. Got anything else you want to do here? I mean, it's on fire, so. All right, it's time to pull out the maneuver. I'm club hauling, we're going back. Why? <laughs> we don't even know what's going on. I'm, so I'm going to say this right now. You can be, I'm not on the page. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, uh, so I guess there, I have, you know where I we have are. like is... half of an inkling of a little bit of a speck of maybe what might be considered and construed as a plan, possibly. Oh lord. What plan are you trying to use here? I uh, don't know. Okay, the plan so that guess... gets us all killed? Okay, me and Jesus Gillian Christ. are Well, anyway, I wouldn't know that. Away. We can Jay and I can go sail and make a two two we man sail band. into the sun. We uh, sail I into the sunset. On my turn, on my turn, if you'll let me, I basically want to try and repair the ship, but I want to do it in a Gillian tide strider way where I uh, while well, the water is leaking in for the ship, I freeze the water as it's leaking in to essentially create a cork, uh, so it doesn't uh, keep oh, coming that's in. Cool. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, I'm basically just repairing the ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys can't really attack, but repairing the ship is all of your your action points for your boat, anyways. Okay. So if you wanted to do that on your turn, you can go up there. You just need to roll uh, a d20 plus three, I think. Okay, d20 plus three. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, yep. Okay, 22. Yeah, I, that succeeds for sure. So you okay. would get uh, 20, 1d10 plus 3 health back. Yeah, so we're going to regain. It. We're going to regain. Um, I rolled a 10. All right. 13 HP 13 back. 13 HP put it back. back. Jay, put that shit back. Yeah, frozen the holes the into the... Back up the, the, the 51 out of 52. Kusau, kablau. Freeze it up. Okay. Uh, if Jay, if you're not doing anything, then we'll see what ship's plan is. Yeah, yeah. I just we're, continue we're helming. Up. I helm the ship. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm blasting wind into it. Uh, uh, I, I readjust the sails so that the wind is straight into it. You know, whatever. I, I give this I give stupid. Apple a tailwind Jim. so she can sail what? really fast. Is everything okay over there? Um, we're not stopping. We are we just gonna leave Marshall John behind? He's a brave man. Fuck it. He, he, <laughs> he's he's under a pile of navy <laughs> soldiers, one of whom is limp. And we're away. I don't know if that we're means I killed him. <laughs> awesome. I don't know. We'll never find out. Yeah, we are a ways <laughs> away now, too, if you want to try and turn around. We are, now. like, yeah, we are outside of, like, yeah, we're covering the Yeah, you guys are entrance. now a total of, like, a hundred or so feet. Yeah. Which so. isn't, like, it doesn't mean anything, but you're pretty far. <laughs> you're on the way mm -hmm. towards the exit. Okay. Fuck! Your ship, the Albatross, is past the Navy fleet at this point. Marsh, John will be fine. He's a big, strong man. And okay, and, and none of the navy ships are following us. No, the, they're still pointed at the docks. There are still ships who are or are basically trapped in between uh, the navy ships, as well as ships that have bar or basically rammed successfully through. And there are ships who are, are trying to turn slightly, but they turn so slowly they they're not like turned around or anything. And the ship that had the uh, the red coat guy. <laughs> yeah, the sails are on fire and it is still facing the same direction which is towards the docks and the ship that you guys ram through is, is tipped upwards and out like sinking 
Can is Gil anywhere within earshot of me? Sort of, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you have to yell. Gil, do you still have the conch? I get on the. I pull up the megaphone. Yeah. Can you? <laughs> yeah. Can you <laughs> see if John's even alive? It seems like right now he's actually piled under a bunch of navy people. I don't know if we'll be able to reach him. Gillian out. Uh, we've taken some losses today. We will come back for you, John. <laughs> it, it echoes. Okay. <laughs> they take your plan. body, but they'll never take your heart, John. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, <laughs> we'll this come combat back. for you guys is over. As your ship and the Granberry pirate ship and a few other straggling ships jolly rogers you don't recognize or take note of make their way uh but the two of your ships in front you would actually see where the albatross is named and, and car engraved its name is engraved you can see uh the same kind of engraving on captain lizzie's ship uh called the crescent moon mm. so the crescent moon and the albatross make their way through that stone alley. You can look back. Well, if all of you look back, yep. you would see there is now four naval ships, one of them engulfed in flames, the sails all on fire, and the silhouette of a very tall figure standing facing your ships, that small speck of a person, just looking out, but not making any moves. Jay passes out. Um. <laughs> Poor Jay. I'm just looking out back at the at the destruction. Me too. Pajamas waving in the wind. <laughs> Smoke <laughs> rising. You can still smell very clearly the smell of the gunpowder and dust and soot. But eventually, uh, both of your ships make it out into the open sea. So you guys exit the portcullis that you once entered in. Uh, a few days ago, almost half a week, I think, uh, the two stone fists back onto the moonlit waters of the Royal Blue Ocean. Hours pass before you feel like you and uh, the ship next to you, with Captain Lizzie and her crew, are, are, are a safe distance away. There isn't a barrage of ships waiting surrounding the island um and it doesn't seem like the naval ships that were at toronto island blocking the port have followed this direction at the very least it's very late neither none of you have long rested um so it is up to you what you do for the rest of the night i assume sleep but if yeah no uh, i mean words uh, before but maybe like very mm. like spotty light sleep you know, shell shock, like being shell shocked after like a war. That's kind of how I'm feeling in my brain right now. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we don't have to play it out or anything. I probably yeah. would have go found Ollie and stuff and wrapped up a, a couple of wounds and gone to bed. I have Pretzel draw a drawing of John's face. I put it up on the wall, stab it in with a dagger, <laughs> just stare at it. <laughs> Thinking of the fire, fire in my eyes, just sh sharpening my sword, still in my pajamas. I want to go to sleep in the in the we'll crow's nest. Is that what it? In the yeah, let's think up in top. the big top thing. Yeah, the thing up top. Okay, so you don't go down below deck. No. To sleep. No. All he what are you doing in my barrel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. If if Chippy, if you were going to check on Ollie, you would be doing it with Gillian. As he went to his mm -hmm. sleeping barrel. Yeah, he's significantly pruny by now. Eyes kind of peek out from beneath the water. The hair is, like, very wet. And he says, Is it over? For now. Something... is very uh, different. Mm. Yeah. Come on out of your, your, your barrel, flesh boy. You get wrinkly. Let's get you out of there. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hoist him out of my, my water barrel. I will. I would walk As, um, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so that's where you were hiding. Well, we take the lid off the barrel and Oliver begins to stand up. <laughs> I know something's up, but I want to know what. You're looking down at Oliver? Yeah, absolutely. Until you're looking up at Oliver. What? <laughs> As what? a six foot four tall 
lanky half-elf with stretch marks on the side of the skin, appearing to have grown too fast, stands what? up out of the barrel with a little bit of stubble on the chin. The hair uh. much longer than before. Freckles on a more defined face. Ollie? Did you get a new haircut? I don't know what's happening to me. You can see his body is shaking, not from the cold, but just from anxiety. Uh, Gil, is this magic or something? No, from what I know, this is completely normal. Nope. He's shirtless at the moment. There probably but comes wearing... a day in every human or half elf's life when this happens. That is not true. When they stretch out like a big slinky and. <laughs> well, congratulations, Ollie. Oh. You're a man now. I'm only 12. <laughs> I know different different species age differently. I mean, Chip. Uh, if you're twelve, Chip's probably only uh, thirteen, right? What? Humans sure are weird creatures. It's not at all how that works, Gil. Oh, you are a strange bunch. I go head first into the water barrel and slither. In. <laughs> yeah, he steps out, soaking wet. Chip, you can see that the. Uh, like these, uh, the the pants that he wore are now turned into shorts from the length of the legs, like shorts just below the knees. How did this happen? We'll figure something out. You know, I haven't known too many half elves. Maybe this happens. Chip, that's what I'm saying. And he like leans down close to you, having like strange dreams. And... I was a I was a wee guppy. <laughs> I think I've put some. And they tried to give me the talk. I don't think I this never is understood talk. it. You may start seeing kills in weird places. I'm just trying to keep it together, man. Like, it gets try and get some sleep. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll try and figure something out. I, I I'll figure something out. Don't worry about it. Just uh yeah. Hey, so I guess you know uh, I guess humans don't stretch out like a like a big uh, rubber band overnight. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and uh, I don't know just see if there's anything magical about this condition. How do you do that? Arcana check? Yeah, just, just like arcana. an arcana check. Just like, did some sort of magic cause this? Or is this do just Do you have the, any, like, detect magic? Just me getting, me getting a meter. Um, I, I, I can, like, detect good and evil, but, uh, you know, is, is puberty evil? <laughs> yes, uh, I would argue. I would um, argue yes as well. Okay, then really quick, I do a, I do a quick, uh, <laughs> I do a quick divine sense. Is puberty evil, DM? You do a quick divine sense, yep. and there is a, it's a, sh it's a very faint blip. No. Of a. No. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's like a necrotic, but more not not exactly necrotic. It's like a dark energy within his pocket. <laughs> Um, it's not the evil, but it is divine. Oh, this is something's not right. Uh, is there something in your pocket? No, no. There's. I'm getting a sense. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and 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 reach for it. Uh, he like tries to back away, like a few steps. Oh, calm like, puts down. His I... hands in his pocket. No, there's nothing. Uh, listen, I haven't been on the surface for very long, and so maybe meat just gets meat here overnight. Um, but I, I'm picking up a something necrotic. I'm going to have to ask you to to empty your pocket, Ollie. <laughs> Gil, just give him some space. All right, I, I, he's scared. Something there could be messing with him. All right, Ollie, just hand it to me. Hang on, Chip. We don't know what we're we're messing with. Just yeah, we do. Oh, the consequences of Chip's actions. <laughs> he looks very hesitant, shooken, um, and and nervous. I have my um, hand on my sword as if it's an, and I'm looking at his pocket as if there's an evil rat inside that I can kill <laughs> when it comes out. <clears throat> no, he uh, uh looks at Chip, eyes super wide, and looks down. And uh, he removes that black and gold compass from his pocket. By the gods. Take it from him. Make a strength check. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, that's pretty good. 
Maybe it only got tougher. You're it. Uh, he. Well, I rolled a fifteen, Aww. and it wouldn't have. Uh, um, he's grasping it extremely tight. So you try and take it from him gently, and you have to yank it. And he lets go of it, and his arm kind of like uh, jerks back to his chest. And he like puts his hand on his on it on his face, and then just kind of like sinks down on by the on the wall here in the bottom oh deck here. My God. Just kind of sits down. Ollie, where did you find this? No response from Ollie. He's just kind of shaken. He's, he's just breathing very uh, heavily and, uh, and jittery. Well, we couldn't get rid of it the first time. Ollie, did you did you use it? <laughs> I just, just <laughs> I wanted to know the way home. And that's where we end the session. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, dude! You, people that are is... so weird. Why does this just happen? Seriously, yeah, I can't uh, believe know? that people just grow to yeah. six foot four we, overnight. Just, just Let's talk slowly. about biology uh, later on and just roll with it. How about you know? Figure oh out why god. the fuck this could possibly have happened. Yeah, guys, right, Chip? Into just, right, Chip? Why could this have happened? Where we where we give Gillian a lesson on how bones work? Uh, that'll oh, be fun. True. Holy fucking shit! Okay, yeah. Uh, all right. Noise. Stakes, have, stakes have gotten higher, and so has, so has our boy. Especially <laughs> does not look happy. Thank you to our patrons. What's up, patrons? You're you're the ones listening to this right now. I know you. I love you. You're great. Hey, thank you so much to our patrons like Cheshire and Big Man Christian, and the Copper Android and Misfit Wolverine. Fifteen. Atlas L, Blue Blend Blop, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Zerberus, Neko Lord, Mr. Griffin, Alyssa, Dream Strider, Obligatory References, Beats, Ben 10, Zelfor Pendrake, Chrysanus Sin, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Iridescent Cakes, Viridin, Mave Melohi, Miscellaneous, Expo. Oh, that one got me for a sec. Expoogaloo, Creepy Reaper, Kirby Wafro, Grilled Salmon, King of Ranch, Serene is actually a skeleton, Alex is Kira, Alexis, Alexis Kira? Oh my god, have I, have, I, I think I've been saying that the wrong, the wrong way, my entire, the entire time, every time I've read the, oh my, I feel, Gillian's biggest fan, uh, Reshus Nivy, uh, Cornier Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, your gal pal Valerie V, Nay, Jello Gumdrops, Edgy Moss, Charm of the Bard, Wrecker Kurotu, Zigzag Sugar, Nongzolotl, Asteria Nix, Salutation, Jared WI Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for supporting us on Patreon. We really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys next episode.